Hey guys, Ian from Team Labs here, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at implementing a simple table view in our app. So let's get to it. All right, so I went ahead in Xcode and created a new single view project. So what you want to do is just head over to your storyboard, neat object explorer in the bottom right, we're just going to find a table view. This thing here, and we just need to drag that onto the screen as follows and we'll resize it just to take up the whole screen then once it's resized just in the bottom here we're going to add constraints to the top left right and bottom that way no matter what sort of device this table view is on it will always take up the whole screen so what we want to do is we want to while selecting it holding the control key and start dragging. We'll see this line. And we need to drag it to our view controller on the left here, or this little yellow icon up the top, which is also the view controller. They both do the same thing. Let go and you'll see two outlets. So we want to select data source and do it again for delegate. And I'll explain what these two do shortly. Once you've connected those up, go to the assistant editor in the top right. That will show our view controller, which is the code for this view. Hit the control key, drag it again, and we are going to create an outlet called table view. So once we've done that, we're going to close down the assistant editor and go to our view controller to code up our table view. So we've got our reference to the table view itself here. And what we need to do just up the top after this UI view controller, we need to add UI table view delegate and UI table view data source. So you remember we connected up the delegate and a data source. So what these two both are doing is first of all the delegate it's pretty much giving this view controller it's delegating its actions to this view so when you tap a cell and so on it will delegate the task to this view controller to execute that code and the data source is saying that this view controller code here is the source of data that displays on that view controller so you typically have them in the same view controller but if you wanted to you could separate them across different classes of code and so on so now we've done that under table view we're going to create a new variable called a var table data of a type string with square brackets which is an array equals hello then we'll add my with a comma and finally table at the end so this array holds three strings called hello my table now to code up the table view in view did load we add self dot table view dot register cell class is going to be ui table view cell dot self And for cell reuse identifier, we're just going to name that cell, all in lowercase. And what this does, this basically sets up the table view cells, and each cell is basically a container for each row that holds information, such as text, pictures, buttons, and many other things. So now we need to add the methods into our view controller in order to display the information. So the first one is number of rows in section. So it's this function here. So if you start typing in number of rows in section, it will auto complete and you can select it. And in here, we need to add return self table data dot count. The next function is cell for row at index path. So this function table view and has self or row at index path. And in here, we are going to add let cell 
of a type UI table view cell equals self dot table view dot deck with reusable identifier. The identifier is going to be cell that we added in view did load exclamation mark as UI table view cell. Then we'll do cell dot text label dot text equals self dot table data square brackets index path dot row and finally we do return cell and the last function we'll add in is did select row at index path here and in here we'll do print row backslash brackets index path dot row brackets and then we'll do select it and finish that off so that's how we code up our table view i'll just run the app now to show it actually working and i'll explain what these functions are doing and why you need them when you're creating a table view the last one here we don't need it's just going to basically print out to the console what cell we tap it's just handy to know for when a user taps a cell you can code your app to take different actions okay so we can see our app working here we've got our table view we've got hello my table in the different cells if you tap hello it says row zero selected my is row one table is row three sorry row two so how this is working is in view did load, it will register a new UI table view cell, which is using the identifier cell. So that's a row, each cell is a row. Then in number of rows in section, that returns the count of the values in table data, which is three. So that's telling the table view how many items to display. Finally, in our cell for our index path, that's where it actually populates the hello my table labels. So let cell call new UI table view cell and so on. This sets up our UI table view cell with the identifier cell we created earlier in view did load. Then it will set the label of the cell to use one of the items in table data. Now, index path.row, you want to remember this. This is a special variable that gets passed to this function depending on what index path the cell's at. So this one is zero, my is one, table is two. So for example, for the first cell here, hello, this will index path.row will be the number zero. So essentially that's saying put the string hello as the label because it's at position zero in table data. And finally we'll return the cell to the table view to display to the user. And then it did select row at index path, simply prints out the cell we selected to the console, which is handy for debugging and also taking different actions depending on what cell the user selected. So you can download the source code for this app below.